Anytime there's a conversation about education, it isn't long before someone mentions the name Patty Backus. Backus, a Vancouver school trustee since 2008 and the former long-serving chair of the Vancouver School Board, has never shied away from voicing her opinions on the state of BC's public school system, or from challenging the government to inject more money into the system. Her role, however, has recently changed. Over a coffee, she opened up about some of the new challenges she's facing and where she might end up in the next few years. While Patty was re-elected, Vision lost control of the school board during the last election. And to the surprise of many, she was bounced from the position of board chair after the lone green trustee voted along with the MPA. She told me her biggest frustration is that the current chair, Christopher Richardson, isn't using the position to its full potential. It is important to me that we have an articulate, outspoken chair at this time in education. One of the main reasons I run for this, and I have every year, is the advocacy piece. It's the standing up. It's using this role to explain to the public what's really happening and how important education is and why we should invest in it. And it's, it's frustrating to me, and that was my biggest concern, is that that would stop happening. And, and we've seen that. Uh, the current chair has not spoken out on the budget. Uh, he tweeted out pictures of the float plan. He went to Victoria and to hear the budget as a guest of the Liberals, but uh, he did not comment other than, I think, one comment to the media that he was a bit disappointed. Um, that's unfortunate. Janet Fraser, the Green trustee, explained that she voted for Richardson because it was time to chart a different path to dealing with the government. Patty told me that path won't likely work. Well, you know, most school boards have taken that approach, typically, and certainly the BC School Trustees Association has taken that, let's be conciliatory. Um, it hasn't worked. And I, I know because I've been involved in a number of different advocacy campaigns that you do need to be assertive, you do need to be very clear on your message, and you do need to be persistent. I'm not saying you be antagonistic, and I don't think I'm really antagonistic, I'm critical, but I mean, that's part of the role. But I've had lots of meetings. I've actually signed hundreds of millions of dollars of funding agreements with this government. I've got money for new schools, I've got money for seismic upgrading, more than any other school board chair probably in the last hundred years in Vancouver. Um, so you can get things done if you apply the right kinds of pressure. This government responds to pressure. Just how outspoken is Patty? Just ask her Twitter followers who have witnessed some of her heated debates with anyone she feels needs to be called out. But there is a line she says that she won't cross. Twitter is an interest. it's really, it, in some ways it's, it's, I like the kind of quippy debate, I've always liked that, the, the cut and thrust. Other people I know don't, I have lots of very uh, people I know who lurk on it, but to say I'm not getting into it, I don't like it. And uh, it's an interesting for, for uh, a level of government where we don't have, there's no public affairs bureau, we don't have any ability to get messages out other than through earned media or social media really, because we, ha we have no staff, I can't, uh, so it is an opportunity to participate in, in the debate. And um, so I, I do enjoy doing that. I, lots of times I think, okay, I'm stepping away from the Twitter now, I've got to stop. But, um, and I do tend to be a little bit like that. It's, you know, I come from a big family where you don't back away from the- You don't want to yell at each other. <laughs> you just keep in there and you don't want to end. But you know, there is an art to knowing when to step away. And uh, th there are many people who I don't engage with who I, feel or not really doing it in a way that is, is uh, reasonable. But, um, you know, it's definitely a, a risky place for anyone in politics. And, uh, but, you know, I always say I don't really want to be in politics, so maybe I'm trying to find my way out. I want to improve public education and I'm using politics to do that. So I don't see myself as a career politician. I know other people are like, well, you've got to be thinking about next. So I'm like, you know, I'm here to say what I really think and, and Twitter is allowing me to do that. On that. And on that note, your name has come up in the past, associated with me perhaps running for the NDP as leader. This was before Corgan was, um, became the leader. Um, what are you going to do in the next few years? What do you see for yourself on the horizon? You just said you're not going to be a career politician, so well, no jump to provincial? <laughs> uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, lot of opportunities out there. And uh, I, I've been fortunate to have a lot of support in elections. I've been run for office three times. Every time I've run for office, I've topped the polls. I think this time in my own political party vision, I think next to Mayor Robertson, I probably get the most votes, and I think that happened last time as well. So lots of people approach me with, and there's people out there all the time, whether it's federal, provincial, civic, looking for who's next and uh, wanting to be part of a team that might win. So there's lots of conversations. I've had meetings with federal leaders. 
I've had meetings with provincial people. Uh, I've had meetings with people who are looking at what happens in four years in Vancouver. And um, I am just still recovering from an election. It's a little bit like when you have a baby, you wouldn't know, but I've had a few. You know, in the first few months, don't talk to me about another one. <laughs> it's, uh, campaigns are really, you know, they're hard work. This was a tough campaign. It wasn't a nice campaign. Uh, I don't like that part of politics, and I always feel a little bit traumatized after a campaign, even when you win. Um, it's, it's tough, and it's when people say to you, okay, the next one, I'm just like, please don't even, let's not talk about it.